أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين أبا القاسم محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى أصحاب الحسين قال الإمام الحسين سلام الله عليه إني لم أخرج أشرا ولا بطرا ولا مفسدا ولا ظالما إنما خرجت لطلب الإصلاح في أمة جدي رسول الله أريد أن أأمر بالمعروف وأنهى عن المنكر. Last night we said we need to change. We need to wake up. We need to realize that there are other people at play. There's us, there's them. And we finish with the fact that Imam Hussain sallallahu alayhi when he moved to Karbala, he made the statement that I just read. He said, I'm leaving. I'm leaving my comfort. I'm leaving my everything that I have, my house, my family, everything that I love. And I'm going to Karbala. To do what? To have fun? No. He's going to get killed to get slaughtered, him and his family. And he knew that. So why did he go? Why would you take yourself to a place where you know you're going to get killed? Which means what? He had a higher goal in life. Not just to sit and wait for things to happen to him. He said, I need to change. Not just for myself, but I need to change for everyone else. Because everyone else was what? Sleeping. Let me take you back in history. You all know that the Prophet ﷺ, before he died, he appointed the Khalifa after him, which was Imam Ali. And after Amir al Mu'minin, who became the Khalifa? Imam Hassan. After Imam Hussain, who was supposed to be the Khalifa? Imam Hussain. Okay, did Imam Hussain become a Khalifa or no? Who was the Khalifa? Yazid, the Kufar. So what happened to people that they accepted Yazid to be a Khalifa over them? They were sleeping, Hassan. Someone is awake. They were sleeping. Yazid was a man who used to kill the innocent people. He used to drink publicly. He used to do all the haram actions publicly. And all the Muslims, they see him, what do they say? They say, it's okay. We don't care. You're the king, you're the ruler, you do what you like. He said to them, but you're Muslims. This is wrong. They say, well, he's the king. They were sleeping. True? Imam Hussain said, no. We need to wake up. You guys with me? So Imam Hussain said, I'm about to leave to fix something in society. If I don't fix, then everyone will remain sleeping. This was his message. He said, I want to enjoin good and forbid evil. What we call Al-Amr bin Ma'aruf. Which means, if you see something wrong, you need to speak up. What happens if you see your friend doing something wrong and you be quiet? You say doing it, and you start doing it. Which means you join whose camp? Yazid's camp or Mahsad's camp? Yazid's camp. If you see your friend sing to music and you say nothing, you're joining Yazid's camp. If you see your friend looking at through things in YouTube you should not be looking at, you're joining Yazid's camp. If you see your friend wasting too much time on stupid things, 
and you just okay with it, you're joining it as you can. But when you say to your friend, brother, sister, this is wrong, you're joining an Uncle Sam's camp, right? Right, right. And we need to wake up. So, the concept of Amr bin Ma'ruf and Nahi al-Munkar was the goal of Imam al Hussein. Two things. One is me and you, we need to become better people for ourselves through our own personal effort. If I want to have muscles on the wood and be nice looking, I got the gym myself, I lift weights, I drink protein, I do a lot of workouts so I can look good. I do the heavy work, not you guys. This is if I want to reach my beauty. But sometimes my beauty is not for myself, but only when we are together. See this gathering here, we shall, mashallah, we have many people here. If someone walks, someone who's not a Muslim and he looks at it, he's like, wow, these guys are, they're gangsters. They're big group. It scares them. So my beauty, my strength, if I was by myself, I'm weak. But when we're together, we are a lot stronger. So sometimes my perfection is by myself, sometimes is when I'm with the society. Now when I am in a group and the whole group is sleeping, how do I look? I look bad, don't I? So the whole group needs to wake up. So Imam Hussain said, Al-Amr al-Ma'ruf al-Nahal is one thing that everyone needs to practice. Not just me, this okay, it's the job of the Sayyid to come on the member and talk to us. Whatever he says, we might listen, we might not listen. We'll see what happens. It's not my job, my job. It's every one of you has that job to do. You see wrong in the house, you say it's wrong. You see wrong in the street, you say it's wrong. You see something wrong in the school, you say it's wrong. Every time you keep quiet, you're joining Yazid's camp. Right? Now, when it comes to Amr Ma'ruf and Nahal Munkar, when it comes to us supporting the good and forbidding the evil, is an action that Allah is requiring from me and you. That if we do, we are walking on the path of Imam Hussain, Salamullahi Alayhi. If we not, we are walking in the path of Shaytan. What happens if we decide to sleep and say it's not my job? And like I said to you yesterday, some of us will only come in Muharram. The rest of the time, what are we doing? We're sleeping, hibernating with birds, the Shia birds. We only come in Muharram. Ten days and we go back to sleep. What happens if me and you say, say you know what, let someone else do it. It's mine or my job. I just come here, do that and cry, and then I go. Few things will happen. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, لا تدخل الأمر بالمعروف والنهي عن المنكر فيولى عليكم شراره He says, if you neglect to do the right and forbid the evil, what happens? Allah will appoint those who are bad to rule you. The Muslims at the time of Muawiyah, they left Amir al-Mu'mineen, they went with Muawiyah. And Muawiyah said, killing them, taking their money, everything else. So Allah says, you don't do Amr Ma'ruf and Amr Munkar, Muawiyah will become your king. Same thing with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The people decided not to do it. Yazid became a Khalifa. Me and you, if we don't do it, what happens? Saddam has become a Khalifa. And now, if we don't do it, in maybe five more years, ten more years, someone who is maybe, I don't want to name his name, will become our Khalifa. You know, like the Prime Minister of Australia, or the female, and then we might have someone from the other community, which I don't want to say their names, and we'll be led by the wrong people. Why? Because we say, it's their choice. They're free to choose whatever they want. Right? It's a freedom of speech, freedom of choice. Let them. No, 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 no. You're wrong. You want to choose for yourself? I don't care. Choose whatever you like. But when strong, I say it's wrong. You guys heard of that football club player? What's his name? Uh, the rugby player? Viola, whatever his name is. When he spoke about the gay people, and he got kicked out of his club. They took him to court. 
because he said, my faith is a Christian. He said, in Christianity, being homosexual is a bad thing. He's got prosecuted. So if I say something is wrong, I'm going to get prosecuted. Are you willing to take the fall for it? Yes. No. No. You should, if you want to stand on the camp of the Nabi Hussein, wrong is wrong. Don't back down. There are a few things that we can do. When it comes to wrong, we use our tongues and we say this is wrong. If you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, I don't care. There's the wall, not your head. True? Sometimes, Talking does not do any justice. Sometimes you need to take action. For example, if you see your brother using the phone to listen to bad things, to music and stuff like that, take it away from them. To prevent them. If they don't listen, they're going to take it away from them. And sometimes it goes even further. If you see that community is in danger, you need to take extra measures. What did Imam Hussein do? He used a sword. He got himself killed. He got his, all his family killed from seven year old, from six months. Abdullah Radha was six months. All the way to Al Akbar, Al Qasim, Al Abbas, Al Insalam, all the companions, to 90 year old. They all got killed for what? For saying wrong is wrong. And we need to do the right. So what happened is, me and you, we are one of four if we see something wrong. We either see the wrong and we say it's not our job, we leave it for someone else, and we are losing. Or we see it, and but we are too shy to talk, we are also wrong. And sometimes we might see something wrong and we see someone telling them, we say, look, Allah will take care of it. It's not our job, right? If they die, Allah will deal with them. Then we're also doing the wrong thing. And then the fourth one is that me and you, we need to stand up. We need to say wrong is wrong. And if we don't, we stay asleep and we lose. That's why when I come to Muharram, brothers and sisters, like I said to you yesterday, Muharram is about making a revolution. Muharram is about exploding, about making a statement. Shouting it from the inside out. Imam Hussein did not get killed just for the sake of fun, did he? Yes, he said to him, you know what? Give bayat to me, become my friend, and I'll give you whatever you want. You want to be a ruler, I'll make you a ruler. You want money, I'll give you money. You want wealth, I'll give you wealth. Just come to my side. The Imam said, no because I'm going to lose, I'm going to stay asleep if I say that, if I do what you ask me. And in the future what happens? The Muslims will die out. The only reason me and you are here today because Imam Hussein said no. If me and you don't say no, what happens? Who's going to come here to this masjid in 10 years time? No one. So when I say to you, some of you came to me yesterday and said, but say, what if I have school? What if I have this? What if I have that? Excuses. Just to avoid coming to the masjid. That is the shaitan getting in your head, saying to you, it's not your job. Let someone else come and do it. It brings pain to my heart that every Friday night, I come to the masjid and there's only a few guys that I see all the time. The rest are not here. Why? Why? I'm talking out of love here. I'm not trying to complain. I'm not trying to make you guys look bad. Out of love. Imam Hussain Salamullah alayhi he says, Guys, the, if you want to thank me, if you want to thank me for the effort that I gave, please come to the mosque. Every once a week, a few hours, that's all it is. He's not asking for much, is he? No. Just a couple of hours a week, it does not kill you. And believe me, it does not make you fail the exams either, or stop you from doing your assignments. This is just excuses that you give. You spend hours and hours watching games, uh, watching movies and playing games, but when it comes to the masjid, I don't have time. You need to wake up. 
we need to say no. So we need to practice the Amr al Ma'ruf, Wal-Nani al Munkar. Otherwise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, as a result, you will pray, you will do dua, and Allah will not accept your dua. That's another thing that happens to me if we don't practice al Amr al Ma'ruf, Wal-Nani and al Munkar. So me and you, we need to walk on the path of Imam Hussain Salaam Allah and say wrong is wrong and we say no to all that is wrong. It doesn't matter who it is, it doesn't matter from where it is. Wrong will always stay wrong and me and you, we need to stand against that. وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة على محمد وآل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين. Ahmed, 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 Ahm